Well, good evening, St. John's, and welcome to our virtual Christmas concert 2020. Who would have known that our annual coming together for a Christmas concert would have to be done virtually because of a pandemic? But thank God, because of technology and for all of the willing vessels within our music ministry who have thought it not robbery to give of their time to make this effort happen. I want to start by saying thank you to all of you in the music ministry, especially those who continue to serve during this pandemic. Thank you so much for your service, not to the church, but to God. Thank you for your faithfulness in serving. Thank you to our audiovisual team, our media team, who helped us to make this happen tonight. I'm so grateful to be able to bring this virtual Christmas concert to you. I pray that you'll grab all of your favorite holiday drinks like your eggnog, your hot chocolate, your apple cider, your Christmas cookies, or whatever you've got that you like to have during the holidays. Why don't you just take a moment and grab those right now and let's just be sup on our favorite holiday desserts and things while we watch the concert. Also, while you're at it, please take a moment to like and share this Christmas concert video. Invite your family and friends. You never know, people are going through so many things and uh, so many things are happening in our land and in our country and even in the world. And so this con Christmas concert today might just bring some joy to somebody. So why don't you go ahead and share and invite them to participate and partake in this Christmas concert today. Please don't forget, if you're wearing your ugly sweater, mine is not quite ugly because it says, go Jesus. Uh, at least I don't think it's ugly. Watch it. <laughs> All right, uh, please be sure to take a picture in your ugly sweater and use hashtag, that's number sign, if you don't know, hashtag number sign, same thing, SJ Christmas 2020. Again, that's hashtag or number sign, SJ Christmas 2020. Take a picture in your ugly sweater. We want to see it. That's a means that we can engage and participate with you who are watching today. Well, without further ado, we've got Sister Alana Austin today. We've got Sister Shay Lamb McCauley. We will hear from our Fellowship and Praise Ensemble. We'll hear from our Mass Choir and from our band. I certainly pray that you are blessed by this Christmas concert. And if we've got to do this again next year, we're going to do it bigger and better. But I pray that you enjoy what we've put together for you today. God bless you, St. John, and thank you for tuning in. I present to you a virtual Christmas 2020. Starts right now.
the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. And long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. My mama told me something when I was growing up that has forever changed my life. She played the piano at our little church at 3rd and Pine Street for 37 years. She tried to teach me to play the piano, <laughs> but I wasn't very good. She would teach me the names of the notes, what a major key is, what a minor key is, 
She tried to teach me musical theory, but I was just bored. Then, one day, she told me that the best news in the world is found by playing a simple scale on the piano. I had no idea what she meant, so she told me to play an eight-note scale. So I did. I said, how is that good news? And she said I played it incorrectly and that I needed to play it the other way. So I did. Again, I said, how is that good news? And she said I played it the right way, but I needed to add the pauses. The pauses? She said, the pauses. Add them on the first, second, Four, six, seventh, and last note. Now, I was frustrated and said, how can eight notes with random pauses be the best news in the world? Then I got up, walked away, and went outside. Frankly, I didn't care what she was talking about. I didn't like playing the piano anyway. Well, years later, my mama got sick and passed away. As I was thinking about her, I remembered what she told me about the piano. Not only that, I still remember the notes she told me to pause. The first, second, fourth, sixth, seventh, and last note. So I sat down at her piano and played the scale with the pauses. That's when I realized the good news she was talking about. My name is Rain, and I'll be reading a poem from Timothy Dudley Smith called A Song Was Heard at Christmas. A song was heard at Christmas to wake the midnight sky, a Savior's birth and peace on earth to praise the God on high. The angels sing at Christmas with all the host above, and still we sing the newborn king, his glory, and his love. Happy Holidays!
Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore Thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before Thee, held Thee as the sun. clouds of sin, sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Give her of immortal gladness, fill us with the light, fill us with the light. Cause all I know is that I'm down with G-O-T You're down with G-O-T You're down with G-O-T You're down with G-O-T Who's down with G-O-T Everybody come and join the chorus The mighty, mighty chorus Which the morning stars begun Father of love is reigning over us What have you done?
Jason Johns, I pray that you have enjoyed a virtual Christmas 2020. I pray that you have uh, found hope, found joy uh, in this Christmas season. Remember, it is all about Jesus. Again, I pray you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in today. We hope to see you tomorrow in service at 930 on all of our social media platforms to include Facebook, YouTube, and on our website at sjkb.org. There's a blessing in store for you at tomorrow's worship. We'll see you then. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. The question will not be this year, what did you get on Christmas? The question really is, what did we get out of Christmas? God bless you, St. John.